Hi everyone and welcome back for another tutorial in my Unreal Engine 4 series. In this episode I'm going to show you how to create a material for your landscape that allows you to automatically texture it based on what the shape of the landscape is. So for example if I was to sculpt over here you can see how the material will change based on the slope of the landscape. And this is a very quick easy way of texturing a whole entire landscape uh, which then you can then customize later if you so wish. Um, but it's very quick and easy to do so I thought I'd make a video on it. So let's get through how to do this. So let me just start off with a brand new landscape and just uh, Actually, let's get, just get rid of the material here. So I'm going to clear the material. And I'm going to make a new material. So we go add new material. Escape mat. And in your new material, you need two texture samples. So right click anywhere and do texture sample. And we need another one of those. So copy, paste. And I'm going to use the grass texture. I've got here and the rock texture I've got here okay and this functionality is all powered by one node and that node is called the world aligned blend now you see there's other world aligned uh, nodes the one we want is the blend one and the world aligned nodes what they basically do they output the normal data of the uh, vertices of objects regardless of their scale or um, rotation okay so it's a very very cool way of doing uh, various things really but in this case we're going to use the blend to blend between these two values so what this does is with some settings set up it will spit out an alpha okay an alpha will be is basically a color between um, white and black okay very amounts of gray and that white or black will determine which one of these we use. And when we do that, it's with a lerp. So from alpha, come out here and type in lerp, L-E-R-P. And you'll see in the math section, linear interpolate. Click that one. And we don't want it to go into A, we want it to go into alpha. So alpha to alpha. And linear interpolate basically means it's going to go from A to B based on the alpha. So if it's zero, it'll go to A. If it's one, it'll go to B. Okay, and, and anything between will mix between the two. So I want zero or uh, zero or basically flat to be the grass. Uh, to be the grass, no, to be the rock. So my bad. Okay, and I want the grass to go to B. So whatever you want to appear on top, the one that will be the grass. Okay. Okay, okay. So that will now go plugged into base color. And you can see the rock now appears here, and it's all rock because we have no setup, not set up any values in here yet, which um, will tell it to interpolate. So it'll stick at zero, which is the rock. So the two values we want to change the most in here is the sharpness and the blend bias. These are just constants. So type in constant. And constants are just values, just numbers, that's all. And I want another one for the bias here. Okay, so the sharpness, that controls how sharp it blends between the two. Okay, so if I were to type in, say, 100, okay, this will turn out a nice sharp line connecting the two uh, textures. If I turn it down to 50, it starts blurring a bit more. If I turn it down even more, it gets really blurry. Okay, now the bias tells it how... Uh, how much it wants to change uh, like the uh, offset to be uh, it's easier to show you so if I have a higher number you'll notice the line goes down the sphere in fact this one I went too far <laughs> so we go uh, 2 here so you see it, go, it starts creeping down further the higher numbers so positive numbers go down okay it gives it bias to the top one and negative numbers go up like that one okay so I want to change for this my worldwide blend sharpness to be 30 
And notice how when I change it, this also affects the bias and where it lands. Okay, so you have to basically tweak these numbers to whatever you like together to get to the right placement you want. And you want to try and aim for it to be something like this, where the grass texture is a small little cap on top of the rest of the rock. Okay, that means the flatter the floor is, uh, the more grass it's going to be. Okay, so that will go in there like so. I want to get rid of this shininess as well because the floor isn't meant to be shiny. So that's handled by the specular. Specular is basically the shininess of it. So drag that out and I'll put in a constant there. I'm going to leave it at zero and that'll get rid of that shine for me. I'm going to click apply and I'm going to close that. And I'm going to drag that onto my landscape material. And as it uh, the shaders compile, you'll see the texture will automatically apply and change based on the predefined landscape I've got here. And there you go. And as I and this will, this is great because I can just sculpt away my landscape. Yes, I put the a little bit more. And I don't really have to worry about painting the texture on. Really quite cool. So anything flat, as you can see, will turn to grass. Anything else, other than flat, will be rock. Really, it's quite cool. Okay. Um, and that's about it. That's what I've really got to show you on this one. So thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you next time. Hi everyone, if you do like these videos and you have liked what I've done in the past and want to see what else I can do, um, all your support is greatly appreciated on YouTube. However, I do have a Patreon set up as well where you can support me even further. Money donated by yourselves will help me make better videos and better content, uh, and more frequently, hopefully. Plus, it will help me develop my own projects. Currently, I'm in a project at the moment, and I'll hopefully be able to share that with you uh, sh soon. Um, if you do so, just, uh, choose to donate and subscribe to us on Patreon, uh, you do get access to videos two weeks ahead of time, plus there are many other rewards available to you too. So head on over to www.patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, and uh, thank you for all your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye.